What is happening guys? My name is Adam and you are joining me for my fishing adventure. So if you like what you see, head down below, hit that subscribe button. If you really, really like what you see, hit that notification button and you'll know every time we upload more of this. Continuing our journey along the River Ouse. Hoping to catch some of the biggest and best fish my home county of North Yorkshire has to offer. So let's go fishing. So guys, we're just down here in our peg right now. Let's do some fishing. So guys, we're all set up. Now all we're gonna do is put the feeder on. Put the line through once, bring it up about a foot. Pull back on itself, just a simple overhand knot, pass it back through. Wet it. Always wet your knots. That's a train going by on the bridge next to us. There you go, you want about a foot of line. Bring it back to the top is one of the simplest feeder rigs I ever learnt. You want a loop about an inch. Tie that over, wet it, pull tight. Another one. Simple overhand knot. Wet it, pull tight. Maybe just one more. Wet it, pull tight, and there you go. Now you want the feeder, you want the line to come just below the feeder so it doesn't get tangled. I'll put a hook length on. Now my hook length again is this stuff. It is £3.3. Three. And all I do with that is pull out an arm's length, bite it off, there's your hook line. Simple overhand loop knot. Pull tight, wet it, pull tight. Nip the little bit of line off. No need for a knot here, you've got your two loops. Pass one loop through the other loop. And then get your, the end of your line. Pass that back through that. Pull tight. Done. Put a hook on. One of the hooks I am going to be using today. I am going to put a number 16 guru. Start catching some big fish, we'll put maybe a 
We'll go up one size, see what that does, but this should be fine. Just tie it on. Okay, so what we've got, big bag of ground bait, there's about a kilo of white crumb there. I make that myself. All I do is leave bread on top of the cooker and stuff and save it up. I might show you that next time if you want to see that. So what we're going to do today, we've already got a tub of water. We've got some liquid worm, we're going to put a good bit of that in the water, that'll probably do it. And then because it's a really beautiful sunny day, I've got some black natural food colouring just to darken the ground bait up a little bit because it is white crumb and I feel like it might spook the bream a little bit. So let's put one two, three caps of that in. I don't really like to mix all my ground bait at once. I like to just leave some just in case I need some for later on. I usually like to riddle my ground bait. I haven't brought my riddle with me. Because it's such a hot day, I'm making it just a little bit wetter than it needs to be because it'll start drying out pretty quick today. And that'll do it. Beautiful. Let's catch some fish. Now, as you know what I like to do when I'm bream fishing, as we're starting the session right now I'm going to smash five feeder falls of ground bait in, leave that, fish over the top of it, see if we can get some bream. reason I actually chose this peg. On the other side of the river there is a like a water inlet into the river. And usually stream tend to well most fish tend to just hang around places like that for food and nutrients. This is gonna be the third one. We want two more after this. And then we're gonna put some bait on and catch some nice fish. Been fishing for about an hour now. No fish yet. Chains going by galore. 
I put on his three casters, we're putting loads of casters in the feeder. I'm making a feeder sandwich like last time. Let's keep going. So guys, we just had our first big fish of the day and what happens? The hook fell off. Ah! So well guys, first fish of the day, nice little roach. Let's keep going. Second fish of the day, guys. <laughs> it's a little bleak. That took two casters and a maggot. Cold. Good sign though, we're starting to catch fish now. Let's keep going. Just see his nose. There he is, there he is. There he is, that is on the That was actually like a really weird experience. I've never, I've never seen a mole before, and there was one literally right in there. I hope you saw that, guys. I tried filming as much of it as I could for you. Let's go back fishing. Decent roach.
getting bigger. Three fish in guys, let's catch another one. Guys, we're doing we're doing all right. We're just waiting for that big one, as always. Keep going. Straight into another one. <laughs> it's a little bleak. Feed is still full. It must have took it on way down. Right guys, we've been down here all morning, we've got work later on so we've only come for about 5 hours. We've caught a few fish, been an alright day, we didn't catch any big ones but we will. It's going to turn into a quest, which I hope not because we usually catch them all the time. So let's get these fish out of the water and see what we've caught. Or so. Beautiful fish. I mean, that's what we come for. Can't go wrong. So let's get them back and get home. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you saw, hit down below, hit that subscribe button. If you really, really like what you saw, hit that notification button, and you'll know every time we upload more things like this. Thanks, guys.